Hey mommies and daddies and whoever all is watching. Uh, this video is a wash routine of a five-year-old, but I'm going to give you a little history. This was her hair about a year ago. A few weeks after that picture, she cut her hair. She saw me cutting out my extensions from my braids while I was transitioning. And she too had braids, but they were at her actual hair. And she cut them um, while she was hiding under her bed. So yeah, those are the layers and I was very sad at the time, but I was like, hey, it's just hair, it's going to grow back and everything's good. You could see her braid out was not quite as juicy as it was in that first picture. Which brings me to my cause and effect theory. Because she got her hair, um, in effect it started to break and shed easily due to the power in numbers theory. She had about 15 braids in that day that she cut it and she cut 12 and I'm sure she didn't measure. She probably took about four to five inches off of each braid and that left me with crazy layers and uh, whatever was still long because she couldn't reach it to cut it, it was like a shag and it kind of disintegrated during each of my wash sessions and in between so I had to cut to kind of even out if you have a child that cuts her his or her hair um, it is true you will probably have to cut it to even out or else you're gonna experience breakage okay so here I'm pre pooing why did I feel it necessary to pre poo she had a twist out and and it was very defined and it's hard to go straight from a twist out to shampooing because you end up with a lot of knots so it's best once you take out each and every twist and you're left with your twist out it's best to saturate it with your favorite conditioners and oils and water and let that hair swell and then you'll have an easier time of detangling um, I'm using the tangle teaser and it is difficult to comb with your uh, your hands wet and slippery that I must say but it, it did allow me, it was the best tool for me to detangle her hair. Okay, I'm just going to do two sections um, and show, so for the sake of time. So here I am with the oil mixture, adding it into the um, already saturated hair. It was saturated with the conditioner. I used Giovanni 50-50. I am turning to using all natural all natural um, ingredients in her hair just because I think that's the best thing for natural hair just all natural products and um, it won't be as drying when the drugstore brands and all of that are done if you check the lab reports they're not done for our hair type they're actually tested on straight hair and that requires different care so um, I don't go for all natural it seems to work better for our my hair and hers okay so here I am starting at the end and detangling and it was pretty easy I had it in four sections and for you I just do two here once you've done this pre pre-poo and detangle I'll have to say if you're careful while you're washing you really won't have to detangle again and the reason for all of this the pre-poo is is to minimize breakage and retain length I do not have extra time to do extra things that are unnecessary you need to assess what the hair is calling for and in this case it would have been detrimental to go straight from a twist out to a shampoo so this was the best idea. Um, I don't know if you could see, but it was just a little bit of hair that was in the Tangle Teaser. Yes, my client, the diva, arrived on the scene decked out. Oh, divas. Okay, for her shampoo, I'm using Natalia Wajid. Um, I use a lot of her line. I like the ingredients, and like I said, I'm trying to keep it natural with her hair. I'm trying to focus on the scalp. It was a little difficult with the angle of the camera, but you get the drift. You want to focus on the scalp. Um, and mind you, I did not wash out the pre-poo situation. That was still in her hair. So it kind of has the protection of the oils and the conditioner. You just want to make sure to rinse all this stuff out good. But get on the scalp with that shampoo. 
and again for the sake of time I'm just doing two sections after I shampoo I will apply an Afigy protein treatment yes I know that's not all natural but her hair due to the situation with the cutting and the weakness I feel it would benefit from a protein treatment at um, every two weeks or so so that is what I give her and it seems to work well with her hair and strengthen it okay after that I'll twist it up keep that Afigy to reconstructor um, in for about 10 minutes and move on to the next I'm washing out the shampoo here and then I will apply the Afigy into that section and that's how I'll continue for all four parts until I'm done. This is a good time to bond with your little one because it does take a little while. I believe this whole process took me about an hour. So here we were talking about Phineas and Ferb and if I could catch y'all up on what goes on with Phineas and Ferb on Disney. That is my favorite show. I mean, I don't know. She was telling me something about Dusseldorf or what's his name I can't remember his name the mean dude well he's not even really mean I don't know but <laughs> use this as a time to catch up with your little one and have a ball here she took her toes and turned off the lights that was lovely but um yeah we got the effigy in for a while we kept that in for 10 minutes and now we're rinsing it out completely <clears throat> I know I took it out of the four sections but um I, I just didn't like ball it up and stuff so it really detangled easy when I was ready to style it. Speaking of styling, my plans for styling is ideally I twist her hair up, use the Kimmy Tube Leave In Moisturizer and keep that for a week. And during the week I'll co-wash with all natural um, conditioner. But you have to have at least 40 minutes, you know, sit down, watch a movie and do the um, twisting. I did not have that. I had so much things going on that day that I had to improvise on my styling. So because I knew I had to go out in the street, I didn't want her going out in the street with wet hair. But I didn't realize I was going to have to run out. So here I am moisturizing with the Kimmy to believe in thinking okay I'm gonna sit down and twist up her hair realizing I did not have enough time to twist up her hair had I known that I wouldn't have put the Kimmy to believe in in because I had to blow dry her hair so that she could go out in the street without wet hair so I had to blow dry it on medium heat and then the cool because I, I had put all that you know oils and stuff in her hair I didn't want to blow dry it with that on her hair so I blow dried it with medium heat only the back section because I just didn't have enough time here I'm showing you how her ends are after all of my trims let me tell you I trim her hair about oh every wash day I'm not even gonna lie to catch up with the damage that was done and I think I finally caught up I'm showing you how the Kimmy tubes pH balanced leave-in um, allows for her hair which used to look very ashy at the ends oh my goodness it was just see-through ashy and it allows for it to just curl up into that nice little curl that shows me that it's healthy and so um, after successfully putting her leave in and she's dancing we were just jamming to Sade that's why I had to mute the whole video but um and then my niece had the audacity to ask me while we're listening to Sade uh, can we put some music on so you know she almost blew up the whole spot because you know I had a fit but anyways they are such a pleasure so here I am blow dry I'm about to blow dry it on the medium to cool and get that situation going with um, the styling process because by now I had to run out the door so I really did this quick and y'all do not blow dry with your tangle teaser it is pure plastic that was just foolishness and it doesn't take much heat for it to melt so now I'm gonna have to buy a new one but yeah hopefully you learn from my mistakes and um, I'll show you the outcome of the blow dry I really didn't use that much heat especially considering I had the moisturizer on and her hair looked so healthy so I just did only had enough time to do the back portion and I did it on medium heat and then cool 
to close up the shafts and then I braided it for and then it sat in there for like 10 minutes and it wasn't set but you could see it kind of stretched out the hair which was what I was going for and her hair just looks so much healthier it took us a long time to get here y'all I had to keep trimming and again I just want to encourage y'all if your baby cuts her his or her hair you have to kind of even it out or else you're going to keep losing hair in the long run so Miss Thing rocked the braid out to school that week and that's it for our styling hey mommies we hope this information was helpful in sharing our hair care routine for our natural curly girl it took only an hour to pamper her hair and it was set for the week minimal breakage to retain length I want to show you her hair unstretched to keep it in this would be disastrous lots of tangles lots of knots that's why I don't do it often it's best to stretch it it looks gorgeous <laughs> it's just not fun to detangle so while you can enjoy it in its totally natural state you have to keep it moisturized at the same time Primarily, her hair is kept in twists. They hold moisture well, and they're easily styled. I think this has attributed to her hair length. <clears throat> if I wear, if I have her wear it out in a bun, it's stretched with a braid out. Keeping it stretched keeps less tangles for wash day. Less tangles, less knots, less breakage, length retention. Thanks for watching, beautiful.